All right, so let's stay with that story and cross live to a CBC News reporter, Mbalentle Mtetwa, who is live for us in Dipslot. Mbali, one of the things that we saw is that the police minister addressed the community, but then there does seem to be some unhappiness. Talk to us about what he said. Well, what we saw a little bit earlier on was, was what seemed to be unhappiness when they saw the motorcades, the various motorcades leaving the police station, but it was unclear as to what was going to happen next. We then saw Operation Dutu movement leader then addressing the crowd and speaking to them informing them that they would be making their way to the exact location where the bodies were found uh, we understand that we are just meters away from that particular house how our residents actually staged uh, a march and walked all the way from that police station all the way to this house followed by the police and other um, officials who followed in car if we then pan, just to show you in front of me, um, just go to ask my camera colleague to just move around just to show you. You'll see the police vehicles, you'll see the residents um, that are stationed at the house um, where it is alleged that those bodies were discovered. And it seems as though there's a bit of a march. It's unclear if the police minister and his cabinet officials did make it this far, but it seems as though yes, he did. That is who Minister Peggy Toilet there in the camera. Um, that you will be able to see those shots as soon as this car gets out of the way. Um, he is making his way to the resident. We are just directly across from there. We're just going to walk closer to that particular place. Uh, we're going to try and speak to the minister if it is at all possible. Um, these, okay, so we did spot him just not so long ago. Um, he is here, uh, just here to visit those, that resident. Um, we're just going to move closer. Yes, we're moving closer. We'll see uh, Premier Gauteng Premier David Makura. There they are. They're about to step out of the car. Um, this is where, this is the visit, as they said. So it seems as though residents were unsure and were unclear as to whether this visit would indeed take place when they saw officials leaving. But as you can see, they are here. Um, and it seems as though... There we go, there we go, we are here. Um, I have MEC for community safety, um, Faith Mazibugo here, who's going to speak to us. I haven't arranged this interview with her, and I am just, so we, you've decided to come here. And, yes, and, and what are you? Where those people were actually killed. Okay. Now, the, the question okay. on many people's minds yeah. is that now that the promises have been made, yeah. how long will these police officials be on the ground until? And until the situation has been normalized, okay. and until, as per their request, that Home Affairs must arrest all the undocumented people, mm -hmm. that is when most of those services will still remain intact mm -hmm. until the situation has been satisfied, mm -hmm. that everything is under normal mm -hmm. and people are happy and living peacefully here in Tipsu. So we heard the minister talking about the residents who actually rent out their homes to undocumented migrants. Could we see legislation uh, to this effect? Well, unfortunately, it will need the MEC and the Minister for Human Settlement to decide on that because ordinarily, through the police decisions that you can take. But the problem is here, this area, it's called reception area. Okay. That's why it's the original deep loot. Yes, okay. yes, yes, yes. The original deep loot oh, I'm so sorry, was Mom. here. I'm sorry, yes, yes, and yes. Some people have actually been relocated. They live in their own houses. Yes. But unfortunately, each time they leave, others come in. Okay. That's why I never deal with this problem. Yes. Never deal with this problem. Yes of this reception area. Because one, once a person leaves, he rents out his or her property to another person. And that's why we are have it's, it's like a vicious cycle, a, a, a target that is not met. Once this area is cleared, I'm sure there'll be difference here in Deep Street. Yes. So um, after this visit, um, we understand that there is a tactical force team that's going to be investigating, or a special operations team that's going to be investigating the matter. Um, are you promising residents that, you know, they will see the law take its course? They will see action. Once detectives are on the ground, they will see action. 
most people will be arrested. Those, especially of cold cases. Cold cases as far as that have, doctors that have been closed because they are undetected. So in other words, the person has not been arrested. So those are the targets they're going to look at and reopen. Yes. Now, now talk to us, um, Missy. The issue is that residents feel, why is it that it takes residents protesting to this extent for, the, for, for officials to, 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 to come and address those issues? In fact, we've been having engagements with them since Sunday because of those issues they were raising, of people that have been killed. But it was obvious they are determined that they want to shut down. If they had listened to us when we were making them aware that some of the interventions are being attended to, I'm sure we will not be here today. Okay, thank you. So this is a community-led, organized um, shutdown that was co organized by community members yes. who insisted on going ahead with the march despite, you know, assurances from your, your, your office that these matters would be, would be met with the seriousness they deserve. Definitely. Definitely. As soon as Home Affairs comes on board, SARS comes on board, I'm sure quite a lot of challenges will be addressed. Yes. So, what you're saying is that we wait until Friday yes. for action. By Friday, I'm sure there'll be lots of action. Okay. There you have it. That is the MEC for Community Safety. We're trying to get the Minister of Police, but you know, the MEC was closest. Um, it is back to you in studio for now. As you can see, uh, police officials are on the ground, as well as um, the police minister and the police commissioner are also here on the ground, um, going to that resident where the bodies, the four bodies were discovered. And as you've heard, there is a plan to return on Friday with the Minister of Home Affairs to ensure that everyone who resides in this area is in fact um, uh, legal and is meant to be docu is documented and is meant to be in the country. You also heard about the issue of housing uh, being mentioned here where residents who are then allocated their RGP house are then leave the, their shacks and rent them out to other residents and it seems as though therein lies the problem. Um, it's back to you in studio for now. All right, uh, that's um, Balentle Mtetwa there coming to us live from Dipslot. Of course, this is an ongoing problem. Dipslot has been complaining about a high crime rate, um, you know, for years now. And even uh, that police station that residents are still complaining about to say that they want resources. And, of course, uh, the MEC, they're promising action um, on Friday. will continue to monitor developments as that march continues.